Uh, hello everybody, um, today we're going to talk about information architecture in SharePoint 2013. Uh, when we are designing an information architecture, we are going to think about a lot of things uh, like uh, MMS or Management Data Service, Content Type, Site Columns and so on. The MMS service is, uh, it handles uh, the metadata or data about data. Think about a Word file. This Word file has uh, the title, has a um, creation date, has a modification date. It has a lot of data describing it. So it's meta data. Well, we are also going to talk about content types. It's a kind of template that which is going to be used by Word files, Excel files, list items, etc. We're going to see this in our demonstration. Uh, it's also a set of uh, side columns. Well, we're not going to talk a lot about this. Let's start our demonstration. Uh, we're going to create a new web application which is going to contain our site collection content type hub. We're going to create this web application in the SharePoint ATA T port. We're going to name this my content type hub web app. We're going to provide the application pool name, the database name, and we're going to hit OK. After that, we're creating our site collection. I think I'm going to choose the developer site. Our site collection will be called my collection type hub, my content type hub, sorry, site collection, developer site. I'm going to set the primary site collection administrator. I'm going to hit OK and wait for this to be created. I'm going to copy the URL of our site collection. Our site collection is ready. My content type hub site collection. I'm going to site settings. I'm going to site collection feature. I'm going to activate the content type syndication hub, which is going to provision a site to be enterprise metadata hub site in the port ATH. After that, I'm going to create my MMS or my ma manage metadata service. My MMS service. It's not going to provide uh, or to handle only managed metadata or uh, taxonomy. It's also going to let us share our content types using the content, the URL of our content type hub. I'm providing an application pool name, my MMS service app pool, and hit OK. So the application is created. The site collection, which is our content type hub, is created. I'm going to create a new site collection, new site uh, column in this site collection. I'm going to create a grade, a grade column. This grade column will be a choice of uh, the engineer of uh, SQLE, engineer 1, 2, 3, etc. The default will be 1. Hit OK. I've created this site column in the custom column group. After that, I'm going to check the grade column. Everything's OK. I'm going to create a new content type. This content type is gonna contain our site columns, our great site columns. My content type, uh, the name of my content type will be SQL Engineer. I'm obliged to set the parent content type of, uh, of this one. So I'm going to select the list content type and the parent content type will be item and the custom content type group. So I'm going to add my column, the grade column, which is the custom column group. Hit OK. I have 
so my country type is completed I'm going to publish my site uh, my my content type sorry so select your content type go to manage publishing for this content type and hit publish oops so no valid proxy can be found to do this operation I'm going to check my MMS servers there are no address available for this application let's see what is happening here oh, okay so I forgot to activate to start my service management data service in, uh, in my service on servers everything should work fine now I'm going to check if it's not if it's not working I think you have to do an IIS reset it's okay I reactivated it it's okay so um, let's resume our demonstration I'm going to publish my content type so let's go to our site collection everything's okay let's go to our site collection and publish our content type okay so now uh, this content type uh, is going to be available for all, all the other uh, site for all the other uh, site collection. I'm going to create a new web application in another port. I'm going to create a site collection in that web application and try to use this the content type in my content type hub, which I've just published now. So. I'm creating my my web application. I'm setting my database name. Test content type WSS content is my, the name of my database. I'm going to hit OK. Be sure that your web application is linked with your uh, MMS service. I'm creating the site collection. My team site is going to be a team site actually. So let's choose the team site, search our primary site collection administrator, and hit OK. I want to wait for this. So this web application is gonna gonna contain a site collection the site collection is gonna use the content types which we have published in the other web application which contains the our content type hub site collection so our team site is ready we're going to check if our content type is available, site settings, site content types. There are no custom content type group here, so it's not available. We're going to monitoring, we're going to start a job that is publishing or subscribing to our content type hub. So I'm going to review our job definition, check for a content type hub job. And I'm going to run it now. I'm not going to wait for the job to run. And after that, I'm going to run the subscriber content type of my site collection. Everything's okay. After that, I'm sure that the job of my subscriber is uh, is running. I'm going to check. Okay, the custom content type. The SQL engineer is available. I'm going to create a list, a simple custom list, which is called employees. I'm going to set the this list's settings and advanced setting allow management of content types. Hit OK. After that, I'm going to add from existing content types, custom content types, SQL engineers and set the new bot button order okay i'm going also i'm going i'm also going to change the view i'm going to check the grade column 
Okay, and after that, I'm going to add new SQL engineer or add new item. I'm going to set a title and set the grade. Remember, the grade is a content type which is which is available from our content type hub site collection with which is in another web application. Now I'm going to use the other feature of MMS, of Managed Metadata Services, is taxonomy. I'm going to create a term group. This group manager will be administrator. So, SPDev administrator, I'm going to create a term set. This term set will be departments. I'm going to set a department of an employee. So, I'm going to create some terms, CRCI, um, engineers, I'm going to create uh, the agency, SharePoint, Hebris, .NET, etc. Just test the, the, the management of uh, taxonomy or terms in the MMS service. SharePoint, Hebrews, I'm going to add .NET. Okay, so after that, I'm going to my content type hub site collection. I'm going to create a new column in this content type and refresh the publishing of my of this content type. I'm going to add not from existing column but from a new site column. Add from new site column and then Create a new column in my content type, SQL engineers. It will be called department, check manage metadata, and link it to our MMS service, to our term set departments. I can't set that this column is required. Okay, this column is already uh, present in the site column, so I'm going to call it SQL departments. Hit OK and wait for going to republish my content type. I'm going to start to run my job. I'm going to refresh all published content types on next update. So I'm going to update or to run my content type hub job. I'm going to job definition. I'm going, I'm looking for content type hub job. I'm going to run it. I'm checking the job history to to check if Kenton Type Hub is job is succeeded has succeeded. I'm going to do the same thing in the subscriber job of my site collection. So now I'm sure that if I'm going to site settings Kenton types and check my SQL engineer Kenton types, I'm going to see the SQL department which is available after republishing our content types. I'm adding an employee, I'm setting the grade, and I'm also, I have a great feature here, which is auto-completion. I'm going to add another one. And I also can have a pop-up, a model pop-up here, which is great where I can select from uh, my available terms in Manage Metadata Service. So I'm going to modify the view just for fun. I'm going to check all items and check my SQL department. And here is my demonstration. I'd like to thank you for viewing.